Hey everyone, it's Belinda with Bitchcraft. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to paint your columns. We normally just went ahead and started painting how it was after we cut out all of our faux brick. But I took some time to research, to learn myself on how to do something that looked more realistic. I'll show the pictures. So you can see the difference of the ones I used to make compared to the ones I'm doing now. It looks extremely realistic, so I like it better, so I wanna teach y'all how to do that. But the old version, what you would do is, once you solder iron out your, your lines for the faux brick, you would just paint it. And how you would paint it would be, you would take three colors. Doesn't matter which colors of the gray spectrum, but gray, white, and black. Your base, on your columns would be gray. Then you would take a trash bag and you would dab into like white, dab it out to where there's less on your trash bag and just go and hit random places. Then you would take black and do the same. To add a little bit more gray, you would do the same, just whatever to get that, that look that you're looking for. But since now I've got a new technique, I want to teach it to you today. This is the 2020 column build from Bitchcraft. Items needed to make this happen for 2020 column build. We're going to be using a 120 sand and block. We're also going to be using possibly a 5 and one Just depends on what we need to cover if it's small large or medium. So I've got three different sizes here. That's gonna apply my drywall compound. And that's the brand that I'm using. I really enjoy this. It glides on very easy um, for what we're trying to do. So let me move you closer so you can actually see the detail that I'm doing. So first I'm gonna start off with my medium. And I'm gonna come in and see these indentions I originally did. That was just for me whenever I was gonna faux paint it to give the concrete look. That's what that gave in my old build. New build is, I take this, but I make sure that I have it, that it's, it runs across. Kinda like that. Okay, you don't want too much. There we go. And you're gonna come here, like I said, medium. See that line? I'm gonna come and put it, apply it right before it. And then I'm gonna come and slightly press down because I want a lip. That lip is gonna make it look like it's faux um, mortar that has fallen off my bricks. Okay, don't put too much. And just continue doing that around your complete outline. Now, if you didn't outline it, you could still do it just with your pencil mark. Just follow your, your pencil, your permanent marker mark. Again. Like that. Now I'm gonna time lapse it. So I wanted to give a little additional um, how to apply. So once you, just random, go ahead and just start adding it random. But how you, I, I didn't say it earlier, but how you do it is you make sure all of your drywall compound is at the tip, like that. And then you apply it, you apply it level touch it at the highest point where the drywall is, push down, move it down, and it squeezes it up. And then come in lightly until it's not so bulky, fan it out. That's how you do it. But this is also a great technique, so if you've, um, you know, outlined some of your lines too thick, you don't like it, this is correction measure as well. So 
You could come in, say I made this one too thick and I didn't like it. I could easily take this and correct and move this down to re faux my brick outline. Again, I'll show you a couple more times before I go back time lapse. Used it, see it's not as bulky, so I'm just gonna come and, and push it up to the top. Like that, okay? So now you see it's bulky at the top again. So then, this case here is a little smaller, so I'm not gonna work. Yeah, actually I can't, because I'm gonna redo my line. Just so I can show you. Push, bam. So now I have my little, where it looks as though my mortar cracked, and here's the brick exposed. But I'm gonna do that all the way around. Okay, it's back at top again. So I'm gonna come here. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm gonna hit it again. And it changes it for the natural appearance as well. Don't worry about your overlapping lines because we're gonna sand those out. You just want kind of like a, a rim that goes around. That's your goal. If it overlaps, like shows like imperfections within. It doesn't matter because we're gonna get those out. So smaller areas like this. You're gonna go take a little bit on your five and one on the tip. Do the same concept. If it falls, that's fine. Pick it up and readjust. Make sure you always have a good coat. Now that we have that, we can come in with our tip. And Okay, so something else I want to address, the wall compound, drywall compound, over your racks that you fold. But you're gonna take it, go like this. Wipe off all you can. So you're gonna apply it thick and then wipe off all you can. If you have some high points, take them out. High points meaning the styrofoam. Definitely do this because your cracks will come out phenomenal. All 
right, so I got that crack done. Once this dries, I'll show you how we get it looking great. Another thing I want to address, so not all coolers, styrofoam coolers are going to um, be perfect. So if you notice here, it, it's missing on this cooler. This is a, one cooler, this is another. It's missing. It broke off, actually got smushed, it's not broke. So if you look, it's smushed in. So how, I, how you get this to look good is take your steak knife, come in and go ahead and do this now. We're gonna act like we're giving it like something hit it and broke it. Only take out little at a time because you don't want to put a hole in it. But you want it to look like it was naturally occurred. Layer it. 